start with the uh, geography paper 2 for January 2017, uh, section 2 that's question 25, 26 to 50. Now the first question talks here about the identical age group from 0 to 14 and 15 to 54. So as visible from the diagram here, you can see the growth curve for 0 to 15 and 15 to 44 is constant for 0 growth rate. So, zero growth would be the correct answer here. Next question. The crop combination model which was given by Weaver was modified by Doi. So, Doi is the correct answer here. Again, next question. Uh, the largest uranium reserves from the given choices, the correct answer is Canada. However, uh, in 2009, Kazakhstan overtook Canada. So, but here since you do not have any other option, Canada would be the correct answer. Next question, which of the following desert is known for nitrate deposits? Nitrate deposits are abundant in Atacama desert. Now, uh, Atacama desert in Chile is also known for the guano birds and the guano droppings which are nitrate rich. So, the correct answer is 4 Atacama. The next is uh, the concept of geographical space and growth pole theory. This was propounded by Bodeville. Uh, we have covered this in our one of our video lectures. So, you can refer that for detail. Next question, Elward, Elward, uh, Edward Elman's model. Uh, now this model also we have covered in a separate le uh, lecture. He talked about three basic aspects that is transferability, complementarity and the intervening opportunities that exist. So three would be the correct answer in this case. Next question, the concept of cultural landscape was given by the correct answer is called sorry. Uh, now two is the correct answer here. Uh, it's important to note that this time there were more questions on cultural uh, geography per se. So it's important to focus on cultural aspects for the upcoming exams as well. Next question is again on cultural aspect. Now the basic thing here is relief is greater than region. Region is bigger than a location. And finally I can say location is bigger than a landscape. So the biggest element is a relief. Now this can be in case of cultural relief, this can be in case of economic. Uh, so I can say economic relief is greater than economic region. So in all the cases, if you put that forward, you have relief as the largest entity. Next, you have to match the works and uh, the authors. So Spade tried to explain the role of Himalayas and he said that mountain world determines the uh, topography that lies below it. So Indian subcontinent is determined by the Himalayan topography. Uh, Terry and Peterson tried to give a direct relationship between the changes in the climate and the human cultures that evolved. Richards and Subara, uh, they tried to explain how horizontal exp ex expansion takes place and there is segregation of culture that occurs. And finally Elkin talked about the archaeological aspects and he said how late stone age was affected with the, with the presence of tribal groups and the tribal pockets that existed. So he gave this. So you have C, D, A and B as the correct option. So one would be the correct answer here. Next question. Uh, south regions. Now even if you don't know the Bhats classification, you can answer this question by direct basic knowledge of the map of India. So southern regions include Mysore, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh. North central region include Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. So you have Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh here. Then the eastern areas include Bihar, Odisha, West Bengal and Assam. And finally the western regions include Maharashtra and Gujarat. So C, D, B and A would be the correct answer. So 4 would be the correct answer in this case. Next question. Now central highlands clearly exist or are located between the Indo-Gangetic Plains in the north and Deccan Plateau in the south. So the correct answer here would be the central highlands which demarcate or separate the two regions. Now next is flow analysis technique is used to delineate the functional regions. So functional regions are explained based on the uh, sorry flow analysis is explained based on the functional region. Next is uh, this again we have covered extensively in one of the video lectures. So Ashok Mitra in his uh, functional classification of town used the 1961 census and tried to demarcate the towns into three basic categories that is manufacturing towns, trade and transport towns and finally the service towns. So Ashok Mitra is the correct answer here. Next 
एलिमेंट्स ऑफ रीजनल इकोनॉमिक्स व लेट फॉरवर्ड बाय हैरी रिचर्डसन सो हैरी रिचर्डसन इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट हु प्रेजेंटेड द प्लानिंग स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर द सेकेंड प्लान सो महालनोबिस प्रेजेंटेड इट फॉर द सेकेंड प्लान सेकेंड फाइव ईयर प्लान फॉर द फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान इट वॉज हेरोड एंड डॉमर हु प्रेजेंटेड दर मॉडल सो द करेक्ट आंसर हियर वुड बी टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द प्लानिंग कमीशन वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन सो प्लानिंग कमीशन वॉज एस्टैब्लिश ऑन फिफ्टीन मार्च नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सो वन वुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर हाउ एवर रिसेंटली इट हैज बीन रिप्लेस बाय अ न्यू बॉडी विच इज नोन एज नीति आयोग वी हैव टूक अ सेपरेट लेक्चर ऑन नीति आयोग इन डिटेल द नेक्स्ट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज बीन क्लासिफाइड एज अ वेस्टर्न ड्राई रीजन बाय प्लानिंग कमीशन नाउ इवन इफ यू आर नॉट अवेयर विद मच ऑफ द डिमार्केशन लेड डाउन बाय प्लानिंग कमीशन by mere knowledge you can explain the western dry areas from these would be the rajasthan dry areas which are located towards the west and are really dry so you have two as the correct answer and here you have the agro climatic classification propounded by the planning commission next is the portrayals ep epitomized in the relationship of political geography uh, geography to the foreign policy was laid down by hoshifer he gave the term geopolitic and under his geopolitical concept he tried to explain the nazis foreign policy and he explained how uh, lebensorus uh, worked for him and so hashofer tried to explain the political geography to the foreign policy so three would be the correct answer here now the next question is the rai region represents a marsh like land because it's a zone of seepage where fine sand silt clay are deposited by the emerging streams that come into play so both the statements are correct and this reason correctly explains the assertion next is uh, himalayas have risen from the tethys sea which got compressed so you had the gondwana land and the angara land and there was the compression on the tethys sea that took place and finally led to the formation of the present day himalayas so four is the correct answer here next question the frequency the frequency distribution which is cumulative you are adding it is known as ogive ogive can be of two types more than ogive and less than ogive so this is the curve for a less than ogive and this is a curve for a more than ogive uh, we'll discuss this more when we cover the topics on statistics now next question is you have to find out the value of the intercept a for the given data so you have y is equal to a plus bx you know the mean of x which is 23 and uh, uh, 94.5 respectively so i can say 94.5 is equal to a plus the slope is 1.5 so 1.5 into 23 now solving this you would get 94.5 minus 1.5 into 23 which nearly uh, 34.5 so you have minus 34.5 you get answer as 60 so 3 would be the correct answer here next question maps are usually refer to various attribute information and are called as complex thematic maps that's correct so thematic maps talk about a specific characteristics giving a specific information about something and they show the location of earth's different features and different activities so that's again correct so reason is the correct explanation for this assertion so you have one as the correct answer here next question now you have to find out the rn statistics now uh, you have value of 0 which is clustered and 2.15 shows a random value so value from 1.7 to 2 would be tending to random okay then you have the value of less than 0.5 which which would be tending towards cluster so you would have tending towards cluster a value close to 1 would be tending towards random so this would be tending towards random then you have uh, ten, te, uh, tending towards uniform would be 1.75 to 2 that's uniform means regular that's this one and a exact value of 2.15 would be a perfect uniform or a perfect regular so you would have c d b and a as the correct option so c d b and a three would be the correct option here finally remote sensing is defined as the art of acquiring 
uh, information about earth from a distance without physical contact and this can be achieved by means of aircraft and satellite so both the statements are true and the reason explains the assertion so one would be the correct answer here now with this we finish the uh, paper 2 for geography january 2017 we'll be starting with paper 3 uh, the 75 questions in three sessions if you have any doubts you can leave those as comment below the video have a good day